Hey, it is Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I need you to make this very important video. And as you can see in the topic, it's me giving a warning as to why you should never go vegan or anyone for that matter of fact. And there's a few reasons as to why I am saying this. And one of the first reasons is that I do not want you to go on this malnourishing diet that messes up so many people's health. Like it did for me, I was on that diet for around six years. It completely destroyed my health and I regained it through eating high quality animal based foods on a diet known as the carnivore diet. And then I've also seen so many other family members and friends that had been on a vegan diet long term to see their health just be completely robbed from them, where it started messing up their mental health, their cognitive functions, their digestive health, their physical health, and just made them run into so many different issues that just got them to a place within themselves where they're not thriving at all and they find it hard just to function in their everyday life. And then it's starting to make them run into more serious issues. And I just do not want to see other people mess themselves up on this nutritionally deficient and malnourishing diet that is just not sustainable. If you do some research, there was some scientific study done not that long ago that found around 85% of vegans end up going back to animal foods. And there's very good reasons as to why. Because like I said, it's not a sustainable diet. Vegans will tell you that you can get everything that you need on a vegan diet and that is one of the healthiest, purest diets that you can eat for you to feel your best and red meat is so bad and it will cause cancer and all animal foods are bad and will cause so many different health issues. But the thing is, a lot of what they're saying is just dogmatic beliefs that they preach left, right, and center. And the truth is that so much of the science that these vegans preach is just very, very flawed pseudo science that is just not trustworthy science to believe in whatsoever. And the vegan diet is lacking so many different nutrients that you cannot get unless you're eating animal foods, such as cholesterol. A lot of vegans will tell you that cholesterol is bad and your body produces enough on its own to be as healthy as possible, but that is a load of baloney. Yes, your body does produce its own cholesterol, but the longer you're on a vegan diet, the less and less cholesterol that your body will start to produce. And that is a very bad thing. Guess as to why? Well, it is the precursor for every other hormone that is within your body to, to be produced within your body in adequate amounts. You can be as healthy as possible and function to the best of your ability. So this is why so many people, this is one of the reasons why a vegan diet doesn't work long term because their hormone production just keeps going down and down and down because their cholesterol levels go down and down and down. And this is why so many people once they start adding in animal foods, they start to resolve all their hormone issues and just get their hormone production as optimal as possible. And then their health issues and symptoms start to vanish. And then on a vegan diet with like nuts, seeds, grains, beans, and legumes, they contain phytates, which is an anti-nutrient. And what do they do? Bind to minerals that are within those foods that you're eating and all of the other foods alongside it and then other foods you're eating throughout the day, you will have your assimilation of minerals affected in a negative way. So if you've got a lot of phytates going through your body, well, you ain't gonna be absorbing those minerals from those foods that you are consuming. And then what is happening long-term, due to you not getting all the minerals that you need, you start to run into mineral deficiencies which isn't good whatsoever and then you are just starting to not get a lot of essential fatty acids in abundance such as EPA and DHA yes you can get it converted from the plant fatty acids such as ALA but the conversion rate is only two to ten percent so you are not being able to get enough of the essential fatty acids that you need in the best 
most bioavailable form for you again, just to be able to thrive. And so you don't end up with any health issues holistically, and so you can feel your best. And then there's many different things such as carnitine that you cannot get on a vegan diet, or taurine, and many different other nutrients that vegans just say, well, your body produces enough. Well, why do so many vegans, once they start supplementing with things such as taurine, they start to notice improvements in the symptoms that have been induced within them due to being on a malnourishing vegan diet, when instead they could just go down the route of eating animal foods, which will provide them with taurine, but many other nutrients are also lacking on the vegan diet. And I just don't want people to suffer because so many people that get on the vegan diet, a lot of people will get into it for health reasons, or due to ethical reasons they don't want to harm the animals, or that it's the most environmentally friendly diet. And for whatever reason do you get into it, normally, whatever one is, gets you into veganism, you normally end up finding about how animals are harmed and their lives are ended to provide meat on your plate and other animal foods that a lot of people are eating out there. So then you get dragged into it emotionally and you become emotionally connected to the animals. And as with most of us, we're an empathic being and we don't like to cause harm to others. So then you get very emotionally attached to the vegan diet and then you can become very idealistic and dogmatic, which you see time and time again with people and where they start looking at other people that don't eat a vegan diet, that they're bad people and that everyone should be eating a vegan diet because you believe it is the best thing for the planet and the animals and for your health, when that is not necessarily a universal truth whatsoever. You may think that, but it's not necessarily truth. But the vegans will want to get you to believe that. They are trying to push a vegan agenda and they don't care the majority of them if you're thriving on the vegan diet or not as long as you're on a vegan diet that's all that matters and what you'll find with the vegan community when a vegan is suffering and they cannot resolve their health issues on a vegan diet and then they switch back to animal foods and regain their health and vitality guess what the vegans do they end up hating on that person and slandering them and just being very mean and unempathic towards them which is just not a nice way to be towards people so it's like when you're part of the group it's amazing they like you but when you're out of it they do not like you in any way shape or form and they will become very angry and violent with their communication towards you. So if you don't want to be part of some vegan dogmatic cult, then for that reason as well, just don't get on this diet. And you just don't need to be one of these people that needs to learn from your own experience that a vegan diet is not good for you. Listen to people like me and many other people that I've interviewed on my YouTube channel that have not thrived on a vegan diet long term. Just the other day, I interviewed someone that was a vegan for 19 years and it started destroying his health holistically, where he was just running into so many issues with his bones hurting and suffering with inflammation and running into so many injuries with his body. It was just like, yeah, he got to the point where he said enough is enough, started switching back to an animal-based diet with high quality animal foods, and he resolved all of those very, very quickly. And where he's at now within himself is the healthiest that he has ever been and he's functioning to the highest level that he ever has done in his whole entire life. And the reason why he's very outspoken about it and spoke about it in an interview with me and why I do is because I care about people. I want people to feel the best that they can feel. So I'm gonna spread my own personal truth and what I have seen in the world with other people not thriving on a vegan diet as well. And so many vegans are gonna hate on me for this, but pff, well, that's just your own problem. If you've got things that come up for you because you don't like what I'm talking about, then you need to look within yourself and deal with that. But I'm gonna keep spreading this message and exposing the vegan agenda because so many people have suffered long term and then it takes them normally quite a while to regain their health fully once they wake up and start eating certain foods that are actually nourishing them and giving them all the essential nutrients that they've been lacking on a vegan diet for so long so they can have the best human experience possible and instead of just surviving they're actually thriving and living the best 
human experience that they could possibly live, which we all deserve. So yeah, don't do what loads of us vegans have done. Go down that whole rabbit hole, be brainwashed and programmed like absolute crazy, and then have to suffer for ages and get to a point where it's like you break down so much that you're like, you know what, I can't do this anymore. And then you have to build yourself up for quite a while. It's like, you don't have to go through that. Don't go through it all. And if you're someone that is going through it, just give up the vegan diet now. It may be hard to go back to animal foods at first, so slowly start introducing them in and get used to them. Start getting rid of a lot of your programming and brainwashing. Learn from certain people like myself and other people that have transformed their lives and their healths by going back to an animal-based diet. So yeah, I hope this is helpful for you. If you know anyone that's suffering on a vegan diet or thinking about going vegan, please share this with them because this really, really may help them in so many different ways to get off that vegan diet. And yeah, I just care about people out there. And yeah, if you want me to make any other videos talking about the vegan diet, then let me know down below and I share my own personal truth on it and expose it as much as I can. And expect a lot more ex-vegan interviews. I have so many lined up coming very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. If you wanna be notified of when they are uploaded, then click the subscribe button down below. Make sure you click the bell notification button next to it, otherwise you'll not be notified of when those new videos are uploaded. So yeah, we're gonna end it there. Leave your comments, questions down below. Don't forget to like and share and enjoy the rest of your amazing day, just like I am going to. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and enjoy the rest of your brilliant, amazing, fantastic, beautiful, lovely day. Peace.